What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're here with Atticus on the Citadel in our apartment. We have to talk to Liara, and I don't think anything came up on the... No, nothing came up. Just identity theft. Liara is looking into a group behind the identity theft and assassination attempt. Speak to her once she is ready. All right, well, Liara is ready. Everyone is accounted for and talked to. Let's talk to James again. Shepard. Shepard. And I actually want to go over and check our messages because I did see a blinking here. Yeah, I think we have a message. Still kicking. From Grace Sato, Commander Shepard just wanted to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our ordeal securing the array base on Antaram, I know now I have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Grace Sato. Systems Technician, 3rd grade. Well, there it is. We probably got her as a war asset, and she is part of Hackett's team. What's up, Steve? Glad you're okay, Shepard. You too, Steve. All right, let's go talk to Leora. I think it's time. We done talked to everyone. There's nothing else we can click on. Shepard. Besides Shepherd, James. Shepard, I found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. Anything for you, Leora? I'm watching Dr. Tassoni work. It's... Inspiring. It is inspiring. I've been watching her work for well a while now. Haven't we? On the Normandy, I mean we go in there and we get blinded by the monitors and just watch her work. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? We can hit wait. I wonder something though. It makes me wonder if we would have talked to Liara first. Then See, because the quest itself said talk to the crew, talk to other members, basically. What if we would have talked to Liara first, and then talked to everyone else? Maybe we would have got some dialogue with Liara? Right? Possibly? I don't know. Let's go. Do it. Whoa. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan, He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise on. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. We're definitely not gonna know who it is. At least not right now. Who are the mercs we saw? Yeah, who? They're not Cerberus. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. <laughs> Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. <laughs> Liara! <laughs> the Cat 6. So these guys are Cat 6? We heard that before Cat 6, and we discussed it, I believe, in the comments at some point. No spoiler stuff, but we discussed what... Because I think I said something about what the hell is a Cat 6. But it was the ladies that guard the door. Going into the Normandy when we go from the war room to where trainer's area is. I believe they were talking about Cat 6 stuff at some point. Khan could be an ally. I can lean on Khan. Well, he sounds like he could be an ally, but let's lean Whoever on. that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino. A good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. 
We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast varin leg. <laughs> I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right. You're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? <laughs> You're not alone. I'm getting suicide mission vibes here. I know we're not going on a suicide mission. Well, we, we might be, who knows. But just in general, just the way everyone's talking, the little layout thing that's going on here, everyone giving ideas, it's like the suicide mission again. I love it. You're not alone. We're here together. We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Oh. So Edie can't go. We got Brooks here as a squad mate. <laughs> Is it even, is it even a competition? Yes, Rexy. <laughs> Confirm squad. Cycle appearances of Brooks. Oh, I can't. Confirm squad, wait. Oh, we can only bring one person? I guess we bring Rex then. <laughs> what is black tie? We're going to a casino. Oh man. I kind of want to bring love interest here. Rex. And I want to bring Liara. Because like we're going to a casino. We're going to be dressed all nice. Why do we have to bring Brooks here? Why can't we bring Liara and Rex? We can't cycle his appearances. Can we cycle? Yeah. Weird. We could bring Liara. Because it seems like something you would probably want to bring a love interest to. Right? Or do we bring Rex? <laughs> we never have any time with Rex, ever. Well. Let's bring Rex. <laughs> I gotta bring Rex. I really wanted to bring Liara and Rex. It's unfortunate we are stuck with Brooks, too. Well, I, well, Brooks is pretty cool as well. And she's in the squad, so that's... We about to get another squad mate this late into the game. But I really wanted to bring Liara and Rex. We're gonna bring Rex. <laughs> I look ridiculous. <laughs> Think of it like camouflage. You don't want to scare the prey. Then we need to find bigger prey. <laughs> okay, this is good. Everyone looks at the Krogan, nobody looks at me. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Rex. Time to meet the riffraff. <laughs> hey, Rexy! Time to meet the riffraff. Silver Ghost Casino Infiltration. Elijah Khan, an arms dealer, 
is hosting a charity gala at his casino. Work with Brooks to bypass security and get to his panic room. <laughs> hey Rex, let's go. We're looking good though. Yeah, we're gonna wear this outfit for now on if we can. It looks awesome. We are definitely wearing this outfit if we can. Liara said she's here. Woo! Time to mingle. Well, let's go. Oh, I don't really know. Let's go. Swim. No, I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft. But there's a problem. Can you meet me? Not until I meet all the riffraff. Excuse me, though, ma'am. So that's probably what we gotta do. Go meet her. But let's meet... We got all these things that meet the riffraff. What is this? Game rules. Oh, we know how to play Quasar, don't we? Yeah. Quasar! At 250? Sure. Uh. Let's go. Yep, 4 to 7. 15. 4 to 7, possibly. Yeah. 500! Easy peasy. Oh, let's back out of it. I want to get out. How do I get out of this shit? I want to go mingle. 20 again. <laughs> it's like Shepard's cheating. 750. I don't I don't know how to exit. <laughs> We're stuck in this bad boy. 1 to 8. Let's do 1 to 8. Oh, we busted. Son of a bitch. Alright, I want to get out. Let me out. How the hell do we get out of here? Let me out. Do we really have to play this until we have no money? Lost again. Alright, come on. I want to get out. Let me out! <laughs> what the fuck? Shepard wants to bet so much that we can't get out. Okay. I done pressed every button imaginable. Imaginable. Do I have to reload to get out of this damn thing? I had to actually reload to get out of the machine. There's no button to get you out of the machine. I have no idea why. Anyways, let's just go around and talk to people. Hey, sir. Evening, officer. Sir. Evening, officer. Evening, officer. Sir. Can we tell the her again? So are you Khan's lawyer? I represented the casino once. Brutality suit. What's Khan like? Intense. Scares the hell out of his staff. But every now and then, he does some charity, like this. Does that make up for it? If what I hear about him is true, not remotely. You ever think about working for someone a little more above board? Like who? The council is going to need lawyers like everyone else. You think I should defend the Citadel Council if they get sued? Who said anything about defense? <laughs> True. Anything else? Oh, Shepard's just... <laughs> Shepard is just chilling now. Hey, Rexy! Where are you, big guy? <laughs> He's over there chilling. Okay, well, we're going to look at Brooks' stuff last, like, I, like I've been Commander. saying. I know, Brooks. You're going to be saying that for a long time, ma'am. Because I'm going to go mingle. Oh, we I got something. Your advice is so good at psychic. So what's going to happen to me in the next few minutes? <laughs> Shiara! Disappointment. Oh. Huh. Hey. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long Shaira. time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. 
Do you have any advice for me this time? Win. <laughs> Win? <laughs> yeah. Good advice, ma'am. Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Salia Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here, and they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Do you remember that one time we had together? Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering, how does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder, and just a little longer, than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. You're attending to one right now. <laughs> Pretty awesome to have Shaira here. Alright, let's get out and start mingling again. I don't think we can talk to anybody else. Oh, here we can. Evening, Sorry. officer. Sir? Upstairs. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Evening, officer. Sir? Roulette. I'm scared to play any more games. Look, I'm just going to save, because every time I've played a game so far, it just won't let me exit the game. And exit doesn't even work. Well, let's try this. I just saved, so if I have to. Okay, I figured it out. Roulette's pretty easy. For the most part. Let's go with... Oh, 17. That's like a good number. Oh, we have to pick more. 17, 10, and 7. Oh! Cheater! Oh! <laughs> we'll go with 18, 5, and... I'm thinking 11. 13! I was gonna pick 13! Damn. Cheaters! 15, 10, 5. Number 5 is, is the number. <laughs> Jackpot, baby! Look at Shepard. Alright, get me out of here. I want to get out. Why doesn't it let me out of the game? What do we have to do? We won money too. We won money the first time. I won a lot of money the first time. I won like a thousand at first. I won like four matches. So no button works to get out of this damn thing. Unless. What do we just do? Okay, come on, let me out. Oh, we can stack it all on one thing. Okay, we're not playing any more games because whatever's going on with, round and round with the games, goes. it's What's that literally. To mean? Is that like code for how wasted I am? Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> we just call the wheel she. That's sexism. Wait, I mean objectivism. That's sexism for inanimate things. Uh, I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? <laughs> oh, online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Look at Rex, just chilling back here. <laughs> You, tough guy? Perfect. I need an opinion on something from a B-lister or below. Houses with retractable roofs. Still in or too common? Your house has a retractable roof? Only the one on the Citadel. I gotta take care of it since the one on Earth got all reaper -fied. 
Instead of remodeling, maybe you could invite a few refugees to come stay. Oh, I am totally on that. But finding the right one is hard, you know? So many of them don't have agents. Uh, what? Wait, what? Agents for refugees? Can't stay away, can you? What can I say? I'm a masochist. <laughs> oh, no kidding! I'm a Scorpio! We'll get along great. <laughs> what the hell? What did we just walk into? As much as I want to play these games, because Evening I know, officer. I just can't leave these games, is what I've been trying to say. I did the... Still I guess upstairs. we can showcase some of it. If there is another game, I guess I can showcase it for a second and then just reload. But on PC of this, I don't know how it is on console. But the... I just can't exit the game. I can't exit the games. It won't let me. So... Alright, well, let's keep talking to more people. We got a bunch more. I think there was more over here. We mingled for like a second. We'll go talk to Brooks, don't worry. Why, right. hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips? Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? <laughs> right, of course. What did I say? Hello again. Celiana Aranos, by the way, and this is Lihanna Parit. We're friends of Mr. Khan. Hi. Lee here encouraged him to have a charity night. She just about melted his heart. Uh, Mr. Khan doesn't melt, but I did show him it earned some good press. I need to try that roulette table again. There was a snotty human girl I need to show up. So, by the time the night is done, you'll have bought breakfast for every Batarian on the station. Hopefully running water instead. Have you visited their camp? The place is fragrant. Well, we can stop worrying about outdoing the human girl. You talking about the Ashland girl over there? Is that? Isn't that a, a, a good cause. company? For every thousand you lose, that's a roof over the head of some poor human or Borcha or whatever. I'm all for that, but if I'm not trying to win, where's the challenge? In taking the house, dear. Like I always say. Each must try to gain as much as she can, then give as much as she can. Just waiting. Casually. <laughs> I hope you're having fun waiting. Casually. Anyways, the Ashland girl over here, isn't there... We run it on the planets at some point. Idel Ashland. Euling or something like that. I don't know, this girl right here. This is probably the daughter of that guy. Ashland, yeah. <laughs> this is the snotty girl they were talking about. <laughs> Even diamonds have flaws. They do. Okay, well, let's keep on talking. To more people. Hey, sir. Wait. Commander? I'm upstairs. Please do not touch the waterfall. Oh, you know we're touching it. <laughs> That's actually making me kind of dizzy and sick to my stomach looking at that water. Let's look at this way. The fountain is decorative. Do not touch. Fine. You know what? It's a Hanar urinal. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Please do not touch the waterfall. Please keep your hands out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Hanar urinal! It sure the fuck is! Interesting. Hey. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is Hearts and Minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it, so the 
honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. True. I'm debating whether I should report you to security. <laughs> oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. True. He seems like he's not a friendly guy. So is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No. What do humans call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. That's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. The wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. Then I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Quarn. Enjoy the evening, Commander. That guy's kind of badass. He reminds me of a criminal version of Lord Keen in the first game. I don't know why, he just has that. I see the security gate. Okay, that's great, but we gotta wait on that until I reach the end of the duct. I see the security gate. Hey, sir. Evening, officer. Sir. Hi, guys. Mingle. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow. My lab group on Sir Kesh. All Solarians but me, and all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go? Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. Upstairs. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Rooks is getting so pissed. Hey, Rexy! So you don't miss Sir Kesh at all? Not the humidity and not the lack of privacy. But the science was uh, like nowhere else. What did you work on? What didn't we? Food scanners for the paranoid, chemical bonders, self-cleaning mating pools. Learned a lot, huh? For the mating pools, uh, way more than I wanted to know. <clears throat> it sounds like it'd be interesting to watch, though, I think. Hey again. Back for more tales out of school? Sure. Andrew was just saying the Solarians came up with satellites that eat orbiting debris. So their space isn't all cluttered like ours. Nice trick. What won't they think of next? Hair extensions, I imagine. <laughs> it seems like each person has three things and Shepard just casually comes in and... stares. <laughs> okay. Hey, Evening, sir? officer. Sir. We can talk to the guards, but we can't talk to them. Talk to them. See you, Lord Kane 2.0. I'm working on it, ma'am. Give me a damn second. I'm mingling. So push my tour of the camp from one o'clock to three. Move the three to five, and we'll find ten minutes to eat somewhere. Okay. So to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation. Then it's blood drive, refugee camp, and hospital tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turn pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So, how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? <laughs> she, there's a party here? Yes. I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting, then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you? Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. So she don't really care for it. I get it. Israels, it's getting late, and you have a full schedule ahead. Don't handle me, Noah. 
If I reach one more person before we leave, that's a family of four who can eat tomorrow. Reach how? The price of admission isn't the only help to give. If you drop some credits at the games, it goes straight to refugees. Have I told you today that you're beautiful, Ms. Rios? Yes, Noah. And I presume you mean on the inside. I was just about to say, you are pretty beautiful on the inside. Hey, it's not saying that you're not beautiful on the outside, Miss Rios, because you are. You're like a fine wine, baby. Are you over here? Okay, well, oh, look, we got more game stuff. Yibby yibby. Just waiting. Casually. What the fuck is that? Well, we got more games. This looks like something Attention, new. Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let me save, because we're going to have to reload to get out of the fucking machine, probably. Evening, officer. Sir. Varen Rayson? Select one of four available Varen to place your bet. Sounds good. Let's do it. Live feed! Varen race starts soon. We can do Bosley. Optimistically, we'll win. Live Easy feed. on the Rin call Baron and Tiger race Bite. Starts soon. I want Tiger Bite. 8 to 1 odds. 750, baby. And they're off. Oh, he's getting his ass whooped. Oh, we just got destroyed. Easy on the wind call. Easy on the wind call wins. Shall we play again? Get your bets in. Five minutes, people. <laughs> nice beans. <laughs> Tuna fish dogs. Easy on the wind call. I'm going to go with Tiger Bite again. Come on, Tiger Bite. 750. Last one I'm betting. A blistering start. Tiger Bite! You got some. Getting your butt whooped again. Close to call. Tuna Fish Dog won it all. Tuna Fish Dog wins! Son of a bitch. Do we go again? We do one Get more. Where's my. Oh, the Tiger Bite's not here. Tastes like chicken. Optimistically, we'll win. This has to be the one, friends. It has to be. We're gonna keep going with the reds. Live hollow feed start soon. Optimistically, we'll win. Come on, I'm optimistic. The other one's whooping our ass again. Fuck <laughs> off. Easy on the rin call one twice. Easy on the rin call wins. Damn it. Okay, let's back up. I don't think we can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can't get out. Son of a bitch. C sec biscuit. We're going with C sec biscuit for the win. Last one. Nice beans. <laughs> nice beans. A blistering start. Come on, biscuit. You're getting your ass whooped. Oh my word. We we picked the worst oh, ones every single now. time. <laughs> oh god. Nice beans wins. Well, I guess, hey, the joy of reloading is that we don't fucking lose our money. Live feed. Baron Re <laughs> okay. Damn it. I don't understand why it just won't let me back out Commander, of the machine. I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? I think we're ready to go meet her. Was there anybody else to talk to down here? Come on, <laughs> Tiger Bite. Bring it home. You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at his shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on him? Enough to pay for my kid's tuition. I tried Tiger Bite the whole time. I was going with the, the lowest odds, or the highest odds. Meaning, eight to one, you get a bigger pot, right? If that one wins, the one that's 8 to 1 odds to win, you get a bigger winnings. But if you pick the 1 to 1 odds to win, you're not going to get a big winning. So these hollows aren't just hollows, right? Real Varen are racing somewhere. Oh yeah. They set up a trap. Our pups eat. They bark. They need cleaning up. What's a pro racer eat? A special diet based on what they get in the wild. Minus the radioactive crap. To what? Raw Krogan leg? Oh man. My dogs would love that. Kind of illegal though. 
You see how it says stop mingling, press the equal sign? I was pressing that too, and it just wasn't working. I'm not sure. Are there a lot of fights in Varen races? Only if something goes wrong. But I don't call my boy Tiger Bite for nothing. They throw at each other. You know, they grab and hold for dominance, but they don't actually break the skin. Sounds like quite a trick. Yeah, if I had teeth like that, I'd poke somebody's eye out. Evolution's a pretty amazing thing. It is pretty amazing. Look at that Krogan standing next to you in that glorious outfit. Okay, I think we're probably ready to go upstairs. So interesting Upstairs, shit going on here. <laughs> whenever you're ready. I'm on my way, Brooks. I swear it. I think we surveyed the whole place here as best as my knowledge of just walking Please around. Do not touch the waterfall. Please keep your hands out okay, of the it's the water. waterfall lady. Let's go upstairs. Brooks is over there. Oh, we probably got more stuff to talk to people over here. Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. What? What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. <laughs> Thessian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, they kick like a shotgun. The Asari shots kick like a shotgun? Really? Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. Damn. Shall we try it? What happens if a Krogan eats it? What can it do for you? I'm curious. What's the craziest thing you've ever served up? Well, there's the Barak. That's a Krogan drink you set on fire, put out, then drink from the scalding hot cup. Well, there's the Weeping Heart. That's a martini with Drell skin venom. The venom's pretty mild, though. Oh, wait. A Volus Bina. The alcohol puts you on the floor, and the ammonia lets you clean up the mess you made. If you live. Damn, and people were drinking that shit? I like getting fucked up, but I like keeping my life, too. <laughs> Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. Thank you. I'll take anything but the, the Volus one you're talking about. You know, I respect the first guy who looked up at Saturn and said, That thing up there, it isn't a star. But you got to love the guy who said, That thing up there, that's going to be my gas station. Enjoying the party? Young people party. I drink. Tonight, it's ring call on the rug. That stuff can put you down for the count. <laughs> I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those Helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. Idel Ashvillen. I'm telling you, we heard it. Still right? Did you upstairs. see? <laughs> I'm upstairs at Brooks, okay? I'm, I'm working on it. You see Rex dancing? <laughs> I don't think I introduced myself. Uh, Jonah Ashland of Eldfell Ashland Energy? <laughs> Shepard. Pretty fancy night out for someone worried about his financial future. It was my daughter Aisha's idea. She's got a good heart, though she's going through a little self-absorbed stage. We've met. Ah, uh, then maybe I should pass the ring call over to you. Yeah, you're drinking Rin Cole? Damn! He ain't fucking going light. Keep dancing, Rex. Look at them all down there. Twenty years ago, <laughs> you'd have never seen a shindig like this. Humans and Turians together like it's nothing. Council species all concerned about the fate of Batarians. Everybody trying to have sex with the Asari. That's not new. Just seeing if you were awake. So, all these species in one room? Yes. Nobody's afraid of each other anymore. If we win this thing, the galaxy's going to be a pretty great place. I'll drink to that. I have to agree, sir. I think the galaxy's going to be a wonderful place if we win this thing. When we win this thing. Hence, said everyone trying to have sex with the Asari. I, you know, if it was real life, it would be the same thing. 
100%. Ladies. There it is. Look at my man behind us. <laughs> What's up, Rex? <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. He's about to like... Rex, I just have a feeling you're just going to take your arms and go like this. And you're going to rip the back of your shirt completely off. It just seems snug in all the right places for you, Rex. <laughs> How do you even make that outfit? Look at his look at his leg armor. He got it over his armor somehow. He probably just painted that shit on. That's the only way. <laughs> look at this man. He is dancing it up. Love it. Shepard, we're both doing the Shepard. Well, I don't even know what we call it. Let's just call it the Shepard. We're both doing the Shepard. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here. Anything else? Hey, Brooks, how are you? You've been taking a Just long time. Casually. I'm waiting for you. I've been ready for fucking ever. <laughs> okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. Fingers In crossed. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. Oh. Okay. Wait, we're looking for cameras here. Hey, Brooks. You look good. James is single, by the way. Just throwing it out there. Single and ready to mingle. I feel I like that's... a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Okay. Send it to me. Oh, back here. Security camera. You watching me, right? Clear. How long? The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. At casual, this could take it. Well, shit, we've done mingled with. <laughs> we've done mingled with everyone. Can we even talk anymore? This could take a while. At casual. Look at Shepard dancing with them eyes. That's so cool. All right. Well, we've already talked to everyone. So, oh, well, let's go get a drink, I guess. Hey, sir, can you give me a drink? Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. Yeah, but I actually want one. I wouldn't mind. No. He doesn't, he doesn't give us none. It's got us. I guess we can... Let's mingle. Let's go down. Let's go down below. Oh, we can mingle with... Oh, look at our... Look at the... Look how it looks in here. It's crazy looking. You say it all? Wow. It's almost going into that, like, how it was when we were in that Geth world. Or in the over Geth world. <laughs> in the Overlord DLC. Commander. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Hi, sir. There's a guard. Oh, can we click on this? We didn't go and check and see if we can click on this. No. Distract the guard. Yeah, but you're up in the stuff up there. You think he's going to know? Oh, okay. I guess he can. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. <laughs> I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. 
We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. You too. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. Shepard's so calm. I love it. Okay, we can mingle ra- Oh, this is- this is more mingling here. We never talked to this guy. Ah, uh, we've already talked to you. I guess you're the brother of the guy upstairs. Did we talk to these ones over here? No, no. Hi, Elspeth Moraine. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. He seems like a... I don't know about an ally. What's your connection to Khan, exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh-huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty? Like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. Not again? I can't believe this. I just got done returning donations from some Terminus pirate woman. Was her name Arya? <laughs> yeah, and before that, it was an Asari Spectre tell us something. And before that, there was this Krogan. Do I have a sign on my back saying, exploit me? Well, you don't exactly come across as formidable. But I'm trying to fix it. I practice glares in the mirror every night. Good luck, Ms. Moraine. <laughs> Anything else? Shepard's eyes are so cool. Can we keep them? Get rid of like the haziness in the background, but keep the eyes. Is there anyone new? It just has this. Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay, there. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Okay. Disable Follow pair the of red center. wiring. Follow the red wiring. Well, oh, there's red wiring right here. But it's going over here. Wait, that's probably going down the stairs. Already mingled with them. I'm right at here. a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. What did Rex say? Press Q to order your squad mate to... I need to look at your kitchen. I'm a food inspector. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to see some credentials. <laughs> I need to look at your kitchen. I'm a food inspector. Oh yeah, shit. We gotta do stuff. Now. Ow. You don't need to call for backup. I'm just looking for a game that isn't crap. We, uh, like to be prepared, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Uh, yeah. I'll get to it again. Look at the guard. Hey, you call that guarding? <laughs> Is there a problem with like the report, sir? <laughs> hey, you call that guarding? <laughs> Come on, I need to distract them one more time, Rex. You have a good night now. Hey, you call that guarding? Hey, Is you call that guarding. like to report, sir. <laughs> oh, fuck. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Hey. Follow the red wiring. Thank you, Liara. Anything for you? Get him, Rex. Get him, Rex. <laughs> hey, you call that guarding. I'm a food inspector. I need to check your kitchens. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> It's got us going. Oh, the ends there. Over here. Wait. Over here. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. <laughs> We've got this. I get that, man. Attention, say when. Hey, Rex, go get him. Hey. You call that guarding? 
<laughs> there a problem you'd like to report? Suspicious activity. My floor. What? A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. Okay. What's it me? You're clear. Okay. Rex, you're supposed to get him. How do we get this guy? Hey, you call that guarding. Hey, you call that guarding. Is there a problem you'd like to report, sir? I'm at the storage room grate. What? Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Oh, son of a... Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Which one? Hey, you call that guarding. Stall the guard. <laughs> I want to hear the kitchen one again, Rex. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. <laughs> You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Do it. I want to fuck with people again with Rex. That was so cool. Okay, it wants us to mingle. Let's go mingle with this gentleman. Hey, sir. How are you? Let's just casually stare for a minute. All right. See you later. Snake bite. What was his name? Tiger bite. He wasn't it. Sure wasn't. Evening, officer. Sir. Hey, you call that guarding. All right, but let's go over and see. Well, hell, I don't think we went down here. Well, there's nothing down there besides the door. Mingle. We can mingle in the machines. Wait, I'm gonna save before. No, because I'm not playing. Nope, not playing the machines. Let's mingle with this lady. Hey, friends, how are ya? All right, take care. We're watched. What are you watching me? Evening, officer. Sir. Where's the, uh. Okay, let's mingle more. Pardon, pardon, pardon. We'll go mingle with this lady again. I guess after so much time, she just gets to where she's got to get. I mean, it makes sense. Mingled. Driver came over, breathed on him, and then rolled out. Hey, how are you? So we probably would have had a lot of time to just mingle and get all the conversations now, in a sense. Instead of getting it all when we got it all. But hey, at least okay. at least we're good. So now I think you just need to get to me. I'm on the other side of the security gate. Right. Have you bypassed the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. Anything for you. I mean, it tells us right here anyway, Leora. But thank you. You are always on point, madam. Hey, sir. Mingled. Take it easy. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. Just so you know. Have a little faith. It's gonna be beyond tricky. All right, so we got this. Oh, let's just. Say when. Okay, we're gonna fuck him up, Rex. Maybe try body slam or picking him up and taking him out of the room. We got one here, but that one's gonna see us. What we want to do is let's just watch him for a second. We can get Rex to. Okay, okay. We're gonna get him to talk to this guy. Definitely. When this guy turns around and goes back. Excuse me. I'm just casually looking over here. Okay. Hey, you call that guarding. Is there a problem you'd like to report, sir? Fuck the wrong one. Hey, you call that guarding. <laughs> we got another one over here, though. You have a good night now. Okay, I'm gonna need Rex to do this guy. Rex, come over here and... 
Okay. Hey, you call that guarding? Hey. Is there a problem you'd like to report, sir? The camera saw me. Ugh. Okay. Any luck with the gate, Commander? It'll be done when it's done. It'll be done when it's done. Wait, a fucking camera saw me? What camera saw me? I thought this one was out. We got a fucking hell. Okay, hold on here. So we're gonna need to lock this guy off. Hey, you call that guarding? Bypass this one and bypass the other like one really report, quick. Sir. Hey, you call that guarding. Well, let him go, Rex. You have let a good him, night now. Let him go, Rex. Hey, you call that guarding. Is there a problem you'd like to report, sir? Hit it. Suspicious activity. My floor. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Con, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? Hmm. You got me dressed up like this and someone else got to do the shooting. Rex not happy. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Ow. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Come out and fight. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguisers for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. You'll need more than that. What do you want? Yeah, you might need a little bit more than that. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Damn right. Yeah, but who killed Khan? How long was he in there dead? Someone at the party killed him? Obviously. Hell who? of a party. Almost as good as Krogan do it. Doesn't count unless the host dies at the end. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Okay. Hey, you call that guarding. Identity theft. Journal update. Whoa, 15,000 credits. So... I'm kind of on the edge here, won't lie. Because how did he just end up dead? And Shepard said it had to be done quick. Like, am I overthinking a bit here by suspecting that we might have another Tila Vazir with Brooks? Because it kind of feels like that was a bit convenient. Like, how did he die? Did Brooks do it? But I, I don't. She doesn't seem like the type, but like, where's the other leads? What could have possibly killed him? Who could have possibly killed him? Because she was a bit sketch about the stuff there. But Brooks is kind of like a jittery person anyway, so... I don't think it would have been her, but I, hey, I'm not putting it past it, but it just seemed... Like, who else would have killed him? And what, for what purpose, though? Before we can get there? It's not like he killed himself, unless he killed himself. Did he? He's got us talking to the squad mates. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. 
Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Yeah, we probably could have talked to Liara in the very beginning. Remember when I said talk to squad mates? Because, okay, Liara was the end point. So it seems like whatever's over here by Brooks is the end point. If we talk to them first, we'll be able to get something. Hello, Shepard. I think we've got something, Commander. Wait, no. I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody yet. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. You would think? James, there's gotta be something in the fridge, man. Shepard. Shepard. Liara, you're on the couch. I'm sorry I didn't bring you. I would have loved to see you in a nice dress, because it would have been very nice. Greetings, Commander. What? The casino will be hosting another gala in a few months. Shall I arrange for tickets? Once yeah. was enough. I want to go with Liara this time, though. Me and Rex had a great time. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. The next time a mission involves you in formal wear, I hope you'll bring me. Yeah, I think we fucked up by not bringing her. We should have brought our love interest there. But Rex hasn't been in a squad since the first game. Commander? Commander? Ah, I would have loved to see her in formal wear, though. Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. <laughs> really? Hey, Shepard. Hey, Kaden. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? <laughs> What's up, Commander? What's up, Joker? What's up, Tally? How are you? I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. Hey. Oh, nothing else? Tally? No? Okay, let's see what's out here. I'm just gonna keep going out here. We probably don't have nothing out here because it's like the hallway to another house, I think. But, even so. Yeah, we should have brought Liara there. I loved Rex being there. That was so cool. I was hoping that we can bring, well... I see why Brooks was a necess whatever the word is, was necessary for that mission. A necessity. Shepard. Shepard. But maybe we should have brought Liara. Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. Thank you, Steve. Edie will get it done. She always gets it done. Wait, we already read this. Edie will get it done. Take it easy, Steve. Have a wonderful, pleasant day. Is there any messages? It's not blinking, so I think we're good. All right, let's go upstairs. Talk to everyone upstairs, and then we will call it on that. And next episode, we'll come in and do the next mission. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? <laughs> no. Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> James is really hungry. What's up, Rex? Look at you in your cute little outfit still. Never thought we'd need to get dressed up to hunt down some mercs. Make it a rule to never fight wearing pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you grunting, Rex? <laughs> 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 What's going on? Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. This is a robbery. Or a killing. Commander. As Javik would say. Commander. Take it easy, Javik. Let me go and look at something real quick. Can we upgrade weapons in here? Weapon bench. We got armor locker. We can't. But you see, we can look at this other weapon, the suppressor. M11 suppressor. The M11 suppressor is a product of the Alliance Offensive Handgun Project that developed an infiltration weapon to be used in close quarter situations where silence is key. The suppressor features a built-in integral sound moderator that reduces noise and muzzle flash. 
Civilian variants of the weapon are considered illegal, but can be found in some sectors. Oh. You guys made a badass weapon, though. Okay, so we want the reduce modifier. Can we do a headshot modifier on here already? Increase, increase power damage. See, there is a, there was, it was brought up that we can get a headshot modifier for this, right? Maybe I never bought it. Increase damage, increase the weight. Right here, increase headshot damage by 40%. Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. 200%. There's more. Oh, that was the only one. What else can we do, though? Can we do another one? Can I do a shotgun with this? Or assault rifle? Because, let's see, there was an assault rifle that we didn't try. That I wanted the saber. Yeah. Let's try the saber. Ultra lights. And damage. 81%. Saber's pretty, pretty heavy. If we get rid of the suppressor, it's 149 on the saber. So we'll do... We got the handgun stacked out. We'll do the saber first, because we got it first. We'll do the saber and the tempest for now. For whatever next mission we got. If we actually get to use weapons. Next mission. Should we keep this outfit on? It's so cool looking. But I do love my other one. Okay, we're going to change the outfit. I love the casual. We'll go back to this casual look. Save and exit. Yeah. I love this one. Can we go back to the other one if we wanted to? Oh, we can't even go back to it now. Shit. Well, I guess we fucked up. We should have kept it on. Because now the outfit is just gone. Hey, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my friends. Next episode, we are going to continue the story and see where it goes. We have some mysterious figure that wants to steal everything. He seems like he really does not like Shepard and he wants Shepard's life. He wants everything. I'm going to take everything you are and basically destroy us. That's what he wants. So, but I'm still on the edge here about who might have killed Khan there. I know it's like Rich and it probably makes me look stupid to even say something about Brooks. But the, the fact is that since we played through the other games, look, we, we played through the Shadow Broker DLC, right? And we were pretty much trusting Tila Vasir. And then she kind of just turned. I mean, I was a little bit on the edge at first, not really, about Tila, and I'm not on the edge about Brooks at all, but it's just, like, who got in there? Like, was she there before us because she went in the ducks, or did she, because she wasn't in the hallway there, you know, or did she drop down inside of his room? Is that where it was? Or did she drop down somewhere else and then go in there? Like, I don't, I don't know, I just, it's, it's, it's nothing leading towards that, but it's, it's something leading towards that, because we don't know who actually might have killed him to silence him. Because that's what it feels like. It just feels like a Tila Vasir type of, of thing here, but it might not be, and it might be making me look like an idiot. But still, let's just speculate. You know, with, with theory craft or whatever. Let's give it our speculation, and just see where it goes. But anyways, I mean, hey, James is single, by the way. Shepard. Yeah. Just let you know. <laughs> We did already ask her, but still. Anyways, next episode we'll talk to Brooks and Edie, and then we will try to figure out what the hell is going to happen next. Take it easy, have a good one, see you next time. Take care.